Disagreement, clash, difference, argument, quarrel, inconsistency, discord, contradiction, dispute, controversy. All of this consists of conflict. So today's Moments of Inspiration is on conflict. Where love is the compelling power, there is no sense of strain, conflict, or bondage in doing what is right. <clears throat> Too many Christians become bitter and angry in conflict. If we descend into hatefulness, we have already lost the battle. Assurance grows by repeated conflict, by our repeated new proof of the Lord's power and goodness to save. Don't fear conflict and don't flee from it. Where there is no struggle, there is no virtue. When you resort to shouting in conflict, you are reacting in the flesh. You have lost control of the only person you can control. Yourself. <laughs> it is through conflict that God, that God induces the believer to seek and to grasp total triumph in Christ. And to take with us this week. The conflict will always be beyond your strength. The enemy always pushes us beyond our personal limits concerning how far we will go for God. Yes. Conflict can be avoided through negotiation. When the tribes of Reuben and Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh built an altar at the Jordan River, the rest of Israel feared that these tribes were starting their own religion and rebelling against God. But before beginning an all-out war, Phineas led a delegation to learn the truth, following the principle taught in Deuteronomy 13, 12 through 19. He prepared, no, he was prepared to negotiate rather than to fight battle if it was not necessary. When he learned that the altar was a memorial rather than a pagan sacrifice, war was averted and unity restored. As nations and individuals, we would benefit from a similar approach to, result, approach to resolving conflict. Assuming the worst about the intentions of others only brings trouble. Israel averted the, the threat of civil war by asking before assaulting. Beware of reacting before we hear the whole story. Conflict can be avoided by remembering their source. Conflicts and disputes among believers are always harmful. James explains that these quarrels result from evil desires battling within us. We want more passions. We want more possessions, more money, higher status, more recognition. We want badly enough to fulfill these desires. We fight in order to do so. Instead of aggressively grabbing what we want, we should submit ourselves to God. Ask God to help us get rid of our selfish desires and trust him to give us what we really need. Yes. Real alliance to Christ will create conflicts. And these str strange and unsettling words, Jesus revealed that his coming often results in conflict. His demands, he demands a response so intimate groups may be torn apart with some who choose to follow him and others who refuse to do so. 
There is no middle ground with Jesus. Loyalties must be declared and commitments made, sometimes to the point of severing our other relationships. Are you willing to risk families, family's approval in order to gain eternal life? God can use conflict for his purposes. Paul and Barnabas disagreed sharply over Mark. Paul wanted to take him along. Paul didn't want to take him along because he had left them earlier. This disagreement caused two great preachers to form two teams, opening up two ministry endeavors instead of one. God works even through con uh, conflict and disagreements. Later, Mark became a vital part of Paul's ministry. Christians don't always agree. But problems can be resolved by agreeing to disagree and letting God work His will. We must prepare for conflicts in advance. Some incidents portray two of Abram's characteristics. He had courage that came from God facing a powerful foe he attacked. And two, he was prepared. He had taken time to train his men for a potential conflict. We never know when we will be called upon to complete difficult tasks. Like Abram, we should prepare for those times and take courage from God when they come. When Abram learned that Lot was a prisoner, he immediately tried to rescue his nephew. It would have been easier and safer not to become involved. But with Lot in serious trouble, Abraham acted at once. Sometimes we must get involved in a messy or painful situation in order to help others. We should be willing to act immediately when others need our help. People don't always want their lives exposed to God's light because they are afraid of what will be revealed. They don't want to be changed. Don't be surprised when some people are threatened by, the, by your desire to obey God and to do what is right. Because they are afraid that the light in you may expose some of the darkness in their lives. Rather than getting into conflict. Keep praying that they will see how much better it is to live in the light than in darkness. Amen. Amen. We thank the Lord for his word thus far this morning. And now we'll be blessed with one more musical selection and then we will have a word from the Lord. Pray that all hearts and minds are open to receive what thus saith the Lord this morning. 